here with Quick Flex. I'm making some centerpieces now that are personal for a uh, baby shower and the theme is baseball. However, the pieces that I'm going to be doing are not, they are just of the mommy and daddy and it looks like a baby sister, older sister. So what I'm going to do is show you how I drag one of my images into my clippingmagic.com. I get a lot of folks that ask me about this website and yes, you do pay for it. Uh, monthly, I pay, I can't remember, I think maybe $10 a month. I don't know where that came from because I wasn't wanting that. Um, anyway, you do pay for it depending on how often you're going to use it. And I'm going to have to reopen this one. It doesn't really matter because I've already done it. But anyway, um, you take and remove all your background color. In this particular case, it is pretty much all this black I want to remove and then I've, I've showed this before then I'm just going to take the green and highlight and typically I change this to white background so I can see what I'm doing. Now I'm on the green and if I can see it over here I can tell where I'm at. I got off a little bit here because I went astray and got this covered in here that I didn't want. So I kind of messed it up. But anyway, that's okay. I've already done all this. I'm just going to do a quick a quick once over here as a reminder. Um, just all I'm going to be doing is removing anything that I do not want in the background. So I was already done with it and oops do I want that image no I don't it saved it anyway um, the image is right here and it downloaded it and it will put it back in here in case I want to make any changes to it and here it is but I'm done with that so now I'm going to go on to what I did next once I got the image it was in my downloads Okay, then the first thing is, oh, this is the wrong one because it had a hair block. I missed part of the hair right here. You've really got to pay attention. Um, I'm not going to go through all the steps here. You do your outline and detach the images so you don't have any of that white in the back. Again, I've already got this done, so I don't want to spend a lot of time messing around with it. And... Thought I was closing that. I don't know. And the new, on the new software, when you do this, it's, um, the threshold is already off, which I thought was really nice that they did that. Um, that was a perk because I didn't have to remove or lower the threshold anymore because it's already, I didn't have to turn it off. It's already there. And as you can see, this is really rough for cutting it out or removing the white and I'm going to spend too much time on it. I don't care so I'm just going to remove it. Maybe or maybe I locked up my silhouette now. Now i got to wait for it. Didn't want to do that. I did not want that to happen. And the reason I'm doing this is there have been folks that I'm not that have been asking me to start from the beginning and so I'm trying to show on the software but I did this trace and detach and because all there's all this area in here that's missed it is see the spinning wheel got to go round well I can't do anything without it uh, until it stops I mean I can't move anything around guys I'm tired I'm just kind of out of sorts here. I'm so disappointed it's supposed to rain. It's been like in the 80s, high 80s, even 90 last week. Sunny, just like summer. And tomorrow is her outdoor picnic for her, her reception. And it's supposed to rain all day into the evening. They put up a big tent and tables and chairs and everything in the backyard and a dance floor. Um, and I feel so bad. See, I didn't outline it right, so it chopped them all to pieces. 
but we're just going to get rid of that because I don't want it. Then what I did is I got an element of a bat off of Google and I put my bats together. Now on this one, what I did after I cut her out, and I'm going to take this one apart and show you what I did. I can take this one. I've already saved it, so it doesn't matter if I take it all apart. First thing I did is I just made a square around the two of them. After I covered her, I did a... a um, <laughs> I did an offset, and I did an offset 0.5 in the orange and then another 0.5 offset in the blue, the navy. And after I did that, I made a square around it by using this tool over here. And when I made the square, I sized it so it was touching her because if you'll notice, she's flat on the back and so is he. This shot did not come full body. There was no legs and backsides and tops of the heads. So I did an offset and then on that offset, and I know there's an easier way to do it, but guys, to me, this is the easiest way that I do it. And I just take it, I keep doing an offset on it until I get it the thickness that I want. Then I remove the ones I do not want, you can do it either way. You can keep them and can't make, can't make a kind of stripe. Then I'm going to take these two pieces and I'm going to make them one compound path because when I color it, I want it to color inside. If I do not make it a compound path and I just group the two pieces, all it's going to do is color the lines. You have to close those two lines in. Then I did the uh, then I did the orange and this is wrong color blue but then I just took my bats and rather I'm gonna put this push this one back. Send back and uh, send the whole thing back. Oh man I don't know what I did there. I don't have them grouped so I need to group them so it will send them all to the back so that I can build my frame on here. So this is all I did and then I put a bunch of baseballs on it. And that was how I got it to be, I mean, it's obviously it's a baseball thing because of the outfits they have on, but I did the frames in, in it was two different images and I did them two different ways and I've got them all printed out and ready to go. So I'm going to quit this because it's getting the best of me and I will go and show you putting them together. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. I do apologize. I know that I was just absolutely stuttering when I just did the screen recording. I, I just, I'm losing my mind guys. Too much on my plate. Just way, 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 way too much. And, okay, so here's one of them, all cut out and ready to go, and I like the way, this is why I do it like this, is because I could just take the picture and make it square, but I do not like that. I like to add um, my own touch to it. Now, there was one of these and two of these, so let me put this one together first. Uh-oh. That's all I'm going to have for my peg, which isn't going to be much, but I'm going to make it work because that's all I have to work with. Oh boy. There we go. Now I'm going to have to use quite a bit of sticks in here to reinforce this pretty good because that's a very, very short area there for me to work with, with my peg to stand it up. So I want to make sure it is nice and strong. 
Okay. Oh, I, I gotta tell you, um, as I'm doing this, my daughter sends me a text. I don't know if it was yesterday or a couple days ago. I don't remember when, when it was. But this is my older daughter. And my older daughter is just, she is very, very, very much not like her mother. Um, and she doesn't like any attention drawn to herself and doesn't like on Facebook I don't put much about her because she doesn't she doesn't like Facebook she likes Facebook sort of sort of kind of but she's very private and doesn't I'm food flying my face doesn't really care too much for her. but lately she's been um, asking me like some of the gymnastics that that Kendall was doing especially after her her bout with the, the leukemia and the fears and everything they've been through to to see how well she is doing in, in her she's in in a going into a competitive level of uh, gymnastics because she wants to be a gymnast but uh, it's just so cool to watch her. Well, I thought I was over at my other daughter's house, her, her, what we call her baby sisters, my second daughter, and Kendall was in the in the yard. They didn't have school that day, and all of a sudden, she started doing these walkover. I mean, these complete walkovers, landing in a in a standing position with her arms up in the air, just like all the gymnasts do. And oh my! And I thought she'd been doing it all the time. Um, I don't know why. I, I just, just thought she was. She hadn't been. She hadn't done it at all. But I took a couple of films of her on my phone and sent them to my daughter. And um, she's told me that they had never. She that was the first time she ever did it. Well, she did it about ten times. She's bam, 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 and never missed a one. And when she got home and tried to do it for her mom and dad, she couldn't. So thankfully I had filmed it, so she knew she did it. That wasn't the point of this story, though, guys. But trying to tell you how, how private she is, she did call me. And when she saw him, she told me to put it on Facebook. And I was like, whoa, whoa, was this? I think I have the wrong number because it was Amber saying, put it on Facebook. But I think it's she's getting over that, that, I don't know, being so annoying. Um about things being on Facebook. Of course, part of it I understand because there's some things that are on Facebook that really don't need to be there. But that would not be coming from me, nor would it be coming from any one of my children. Well, at least not that I know of. But um, anyway, then <laughs> the other day they decided it was a beautiful day out and since our winters are right around the corner, she decided with her husband that they were going to all ride bikes together to go to school. Well, Isabel can't ride a bike that far because she's only four. And then Will is six and then Kendall will be nine. Um, oh my gosh, she will be nine on Sunday. Yeah, wow. Okay, nine on Sunday. I forgot it was her birthday on Sunday. Anyway, she, they're riding bikes to school, and next thing you know, my son-in-law turns around, and my daughter fell off the bike and disappeared into the bushes and the tall grass and the trees. So when my, when my brother-in-law turned around and saw that she'd fallen, he was laughing. So he knew she was okay because she was on the ground laughing. But it reminded me of a show that used to be called Laugh-In from in the 60s. It reminded me of Laugh-In or Carol Burnett episode or something. But it was so funny because she tipped over and all you could see was her bike wheel spinning and one of her legs sticking out. And then, then you see the next picture of her. You see her just dying laughing. And my son-in-law... Uh, was laughing so hard he, he couldn't, he wouldn't even bend over to try and pick her up. But she did laugh about it. And 
she let me put it on Facebook. I couldn't believe it. But she let me put it on Facebook, and everybody started asking, are you okay? And I've seen this sometimes when I post something that I think is really funny. Everybody asks me, are you okay? Are you okay? Like when I walked into the garage door and knocked my front tooth out. Um, they wanted to make sure I was okay. Well, that one I was not okay on. But it wasn't because I got hurt. It was that I knocked my front tooth out. Um, but anyway, um, there's been times. There was a picture of me when I was, well, a couple weeks ago. I was putting something up and decided to stand on the end of the couch. I think I was putting a picture up. Well, I don't know how I did it, but for some reason I fell between the end table and the couch. Um, and I fell folded up. And I was completely folded up like a bee. And my glasses were knocked off. It was one of those things, my husband, like I tell you, some, he just runs around, goes and gets the camera. And so for some of you that worry, because I know people say a lot to, to me, my mother used to when she first moved in with us, because I fall down all the time. But I always have. Um, I'm hoping I... <laughs> I'm hoping I outgrow it one day because there's going to be a day that when I fall it's not going to be so funny um, because as the older you get, falling is not a good thing. The doctor, I remember when I went in for my physical a few weeks ago or last month, I don't even know when it was, and him asking me do I fall down more than once or twice a year. He's like, do you fall down more than, I don't know, once or twice? When he said once or twice, I was thinking he was going to say month or something like that. He said a year. And I looked at him and said, my God, I fall down that much every day. Um, he said, well, do you ever get hurt? And I said, no, but I sure do bru bruise easily. And I can joke about it, guys, because I haven't gotten hurt. And I know there's a lot of people out there that have, and I don't mean to make lightly of it. Is I also have a mother who seems to be cut shorter, uh, elderly mother that if she fell down like the way that I did, or do, not did because I do, she, it would not be a good thing, at all, um, because she's very frail. And for me, one day it's not going to be a good thing either. I need these, and. I do believe this one. I'm going to glitter these up. I'm only going to do one to show you that I'm not going to do a whole lot of glitter into it. I don't think I want that color either. And it, yeah, I'll use this color. And somebody sent me a message this morning and told me that Orient Trading has the stickles glitter and that they are, I think it was. I can't remember how many it was. Eight. I think it was eight for thirteen ninety nine or I don't know something like that. And I'm not going to try and do the math in my head right now because it doesn't really matter. But thank you so much to whoever sent that to me. I already sent you a message. But I can't remember off the top of my head. I can't remember who I am, let alone who sent me a message. But I did the math, and it comes out to be a dollar seventy five per tube of glitter which is what I pay at scrapbookpal.com so it sounded when you told me that I'm going oh man that's gonna be a real good deal not because again I wasn't doing the math in my head I am not that quick however just an FYI for you it is the same price as scrapbook scrapbookpal.com is all the time dollar seventy five uh, a, a bottle and free shipping if you order over a certain amount um, and I always stock up on it in order more than a tube or two um, however I just did an order that came yesterday or the day before and I forgot to order magenta and um, Jenna calls me today and she's like, do you have any magenta? I'm out. And I have a drawer full and I don't think eight, eight or ten caddies full here. 
because uh, we use a lot of glitter, guys. I just keep a lot on hand. Plus, I had just stocked Amy on the glitter. And I didn't have any magenta. And she was working on something that needed to get done. I had a couple used ones that I gave her, but I cannot believe I went and ordered uh, all of mine. And I tried to remember to order the ones that I used the most. And I, apparently I didn't. I missed that one by a long shot because I use magenta all the time. So, looks like I'm going to be doing another uh, another one. And I don't like having to do that. I like to do my order in one shot. Um, I'm just adding a little bit. I'm going to stick mainly with the blue and the orange because that appears to be the colors on here primary and I want the primary colors to pop out. Okay and I might add some glossy. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. And the one that I did just now is the one that reads backwards. My husband looks at it and he goes, well this is backwards here. So let's flip. There's absolutely no way for me to make that frontwards. Um, yeah, this would have been, I just, I didn't. But the other side is correct. It's a good thing. You know what, I'm going to dot some of this on the, she's got a tulle, little fufu skirt on. Just absolutely adorable. Loving this. Oh, today Amy FaceTimed me. And she tells me, shh real quiet and I'm thinking why why do I have to be quiet you're FaceTiming me so she walks into um, Brady and Blake Brady and Blake share a room she walks in the room and Blake was down for a nap but um, she didn't have a door long story in, in the new home there wasn't a door on that particular room that they converted into a bedroom. Uh, since they have five kids, they didn't want any of them downstairs. They wanted them all on the main level. And they came and put the door in, so Amy was able to start putting Blake down for his nap in his own room without worrying about him get, getting woken up by, or whatever, somebody coming in or out. And But she let, left the door open just enough so she could hear him if he woke up. He will not sleep in a crib anymore. He insists on sleeping in a big bed, so he usually sleeps with Blake at night. Uh, to you know, just to make sure he doesn't fall out. He's he's only one at what 14 months, 15 months. So Amy just pulled the door shut a little bit so she could hear if he got up. And then we'll get their dog Gus, who is a four-year, four-month-old uh, golden retriever. She went in there to check on Blake, and there was Gus up in bed with Blake. Looked like they were spooning. Um, Blake, I mean, not Blake, but Gus was laying right tucked up, long on his side. I mean, just exactly like he was spooning. And he had his arm around Blake. I'm going to add that picture when I do my upload. I'm going to see if I can add that picture that I'm talking about to my to my upload because it was the cutest thing I have ever seen. And they slept like that for two and a half hours. Blakey with Gus laying right next to him with his arm around him, just like just like he knew. Didn't want him to fall out of bed. I tell you, I'm my both my daughters got these new golden retrievers. They're brothers. I just, I said, I don't want another dog. I don't want a big dog. I don't want, you know, whatever. And these dogs are so unbelievable. So amazing. And now I want one. My husband said, absolutely not. But, oh, are they ever cute. And they're so good with the kids. So good with the kids. It is just, oh. I love it. I love it. Except um, Amy's 
Amy's ex proceeded to tell her how he had, had documented five instances that the dog had bit the kids, hit the kids, their two kids. And I look at these pictures of the dogs and the puppies, and they get playing with them, and Wyatt loves to run and have Gus chase them and catch them and knock them over and whatever. And Charlie the same. They're, they play constantly with the dog, but with the dogs being puppies, you know, and they play, um, Charlie got, got scratched on her nose. And when her dad FaceTime, which he does every single day, um, she had a scratch on her nose. And Charlie's a little bit of a drama queen, a lot of bit of a drama queen, but I think it's starting to get where I, I think the divorce and getting old enough to know how to manipulate, you know, that happens with all kids. And just came a little bit sooner with her. So she was acting like the dog had bit her nose off, you know, and it wasn't even that the dog bit, it was that she scratched, because they were playing and he scratched her. But he ends up sending my daughter a text message saying he's now documented five instances where this dog has hurt the children. And bit, what he said was bit. Now, that he and that he saw the bite on the end of Charlie's nose and it looked really vicious. Just this horrible bite and it wasn't a bite, it was a scratch. But, um, guys, what am I telling you about that? I think, I guess I'm telling you because I think it's rather humorous. And I shouldn't laugh because he apparently is going, losing it. Losing Losing a grip, but um, losing his grip on my daughter. That's what's happening. But you know what? When you play, you pay. So, I thought it was kind of humorous to watch these dogs with the kids to think that anybody would think for one second these puppies would hurt. Oh, they're so sweet. They're so sweet. And everybody that sees these pictures always are telling me, making comments about the breed, the Golden Retriever. Um, haven't heard one bad thing that they are the best natured dogs. And I think I'm convinced already. I don't need to work on hubby. Hubby, Debbie, right? Okay. Okay. Let me see. Get these put together and. Hot glue from Uline, 15 inch sticks. And uh, somebody asked me where I get my tape from. Um, my refills for my ATG gun, my scotch. I get it from framingsupplies.com. And the pricing is according to however many you're ordering. The price goes down the more you order which happens a lot when you're ordering bulk big boxes from Uline and anything. Quantity discounts. Um, and I love these long sticks. They're awesome. Let's see here. I won't put both of them together because these last two are the same. The same piece. Ooh, she's got my bracelets on. Alex and Annie. Love them, except I know they're noisy dragging all over here. Sorry about that. Oh, another another thing that I thought was quite humorous um, that my grandkids come over and, and particularly my younger daughter's kids, uh, Wyatt, is four. And he likes to come over and hold the birds, the parakeets. Well, Amy came over with them last week and had Gus, the vicious dog, had Gus, Gus with her. And they went downstairs to hold the birds. Well, they wanted to bring this, the, them up a level. 
but I didn't want to bring up the next level because that's where my mother is, and my mother didn't want the birds in in her space because of bird poop, and I can understand that if the parakeets get get loose. She didn't want them in there. Totally, totally agree with her on that. But um, when they were down there, my daughter wasn't paying much attention, and Gus went downstairs, which Gus isn't supposed to be downstairs. But they left the gate open, and so he thought he'd venture out and see what all the ruckus was about. And I wasn't there to see it. I, so I don't, I'll tell you how I found out. But apparently, Gus got a hold of one of the parakeets. And I didn't hear any commotion, I didn't hear anything, but when Gus came, or when I went downstairs later, I found a couple uh, tail feathers. And I said, well, you know, I asked my daughter, I said, well, how did these come off? Because the last time it happened when the feathers came off, it was because Will, who at the time was four, uh, was trying to catch the bird, and the bird was too quick for him, so he was trying to catch him by his tail. Well, the tails, or the feather tail, the feather, tail feathers are made to, on the bird, not made. They are, they are so loose so that they can get away from predators. And they got away from Will and lost all their tail feathers. You don't want you don't want them to pull out or hurt the blood feather the blood tail the blood blood feathers because that's not that's not a good thing. But when I looked at the birds they were no worse for wear. So but they told me that Gus had the entire bird in his mouth. And they had to open his mouth to get the bird out. So um like I said, some of you might not find that funny, and I will assure you the bird is fine, and it was not done on purpose. We are animal lovers, and I would never laugh. It wouldn't be funny to me if the bird had died, but it reminded me of Sylvester and Tweety Bird. I could just see Sylvester doing that, getting Tweety Bird in his grip cartoon from the 60s, 50s, 60s, and that's, that's what the story reminded me of. But they didn't want to tell me, and the reason they told me was because I found the two tail feathers. And they said, eh, well, there was a little bit of an incident. And, of course, my, my grandson felt terrible because he thought I was going to be mad because I think my my daughter probably screamed at him. Or not scream, but <laughs> I'm sure that they got a little nervous when Gus got a hold of the bird. They were quick because they got the bird and they to safety. But I didn't know this, that birds have a memory and they don't forget things. This is who, how, who and how anybody would ever arrive at that fact uh, is beyond me, but that's what they told me. Uh, when Will had pulled the feathers out of the bird a couple years ago, I said, well, he, you know, the bird didn't want anybody to touch him. They said, you just have to regain their trust. But they said the one who pulled the, the feathers out probably would not forget. I said, well, I was going to surrender the bird because I didn't want I didn't want it to live in fear that every time my grandson came over, because they held the birds, they hold the birds a lot, and they're pretty tame. But uh, he said he didn't think that that, that the bird was going to forgive Will. So we surrendered him and got a different one, and had to explain <clears throat> how important it was when I leave the room or turn my back. And say don't touch the birds. That means don't touch the birds. Didn't happen again with any of the kids after after that. But boy, they love, love, love animals. Okay guys, I'll get this one together and 
add a little glitter. Those are really cute. I really like that one. Take some pictures here for you. And I think, I think that is going to be it. Everybody have a good one. Bye-bye.